those in how you got to where you are today. So I just wanted to start on this note. Let's say we're shooting a Stone Boy movie, mm -hmm. um, a movie about Stone Boy's life. First scene, where are we starting off from? I know definitely it's going to probably be in a shaman. When were you born? How was life like for you growing up in the shaman suburb? Hmm. Um, I grew up as one of the ordinary, you know, um, children mm. in Ashaiman, mm. starting from as far as I can remember, um, from Sikafo and Bantem. That I was told because I was really too small, and then we moved on to, you know, somewhere around official town, somewhere around, and then to, um, to, um, Zone 1, Lebanon, Zone 1, and then finally to Zone 2, you know. So, being an Ashaiman boy, I'm, mm. you know, I'm, I know all the ends, mm. you know. So, I grew up as one of those kids who attended um, government school okay. in Ashaiman. Okay. So, I went through primary school in, mm. in government school number three, mm -hmm. you know, and then I moved from there after after the third year mm -hmm. that's after class three mm. then i moved to um a private school in uh in in Ashaiman. okay yeah all right um growing up around that time where were your what were your childhood ambitions i mean um you speak to people and mm. uh, they, they they had plans to become doctors and the like so what <laughs> sphere did you want to get into career wise career wise i had not i mean earlier earlier on um mm. you know we're still from I was a child at the time, so I was just happy being a child, mm. you know. And I remember that when we we write school exams or end of term exams, and walking from um, government school assignment number three to Lebanon mm -hmm. zone one, mm -hmm. you it's quite you know a walk, you know. And at that time. Everybody would know that school are Marquine, so when you're going home as a, as a, as a child mm -hmm. and as, as, a, as a young student, it would to me for not my mental results, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, it would be to me for because when you say oh, school are Marquine, no matter what do you want to Anytime when somebody sees me, they're like, hey, oh, 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 yeah, dear pa, oh, you know, and then you're happy. Yeah. You just walk on. And so I think I began to hear what I was going to be from people. Like, mm. as in, they had their own plans. Yeah. So they were being in the air. So they my doctor. Bit my life. Bit my life. But me and Kassana, as a, as a young child, no. Mm -hmm. Me then I'm school. I mean, I'm a bomb home more than you. But after that, uh, you know, I think one thing I always dreamt of was because, see, our system you go to school from when you're um, um, at age whenever two we go school sa gss in kwa e be nine yeah. years <laughs> primary school e be classes gss yeah, yeah. another three, three years ss over twice so that whole time you know in a uko school and you're just trying to figure out what mm. you want to be mm. but my dream was to become like um like uh, like an officer mm. that's what i dreamed of you know and like i know a, a lot of people may have military heard officer? Answer this. yeah military officer you know, that's what I dreamed about, mm. like dreams. Mm. You know, you don't force dreams, do you? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm so that I am a PE teacher near the idea, no. It's like an army or a commander near a PE teacher near the idea. So, these were the dreams I had. So, I didn't have any particular dream of becoming a stone boy, stone boy. You know, neither, you know, so that was it. That was just basically it. That was just basically it. What were some of the things you you can really remember about growing up in a shaman? Um, these days, I mean, you hear a lot. Mm. You and I know a lot of things that we hear. I mean, aside music, there's a lot we see. Has it always been the case? Was it what you saw growing up? Um, <clears throat> growing up in a shaman is, is, is the best thing I could ever imagine or could mm. ever happen to me. Mm. Because it's a combination of everything in life you're finding mm. over there from, excuse me to say, from poverty to mm. riches from yeah. ghettos to mm. you know all class of people yeah. live in Ashaiman as mm. we speak you know some of the most well to do people in Ghana Far and some of the poorest and all of that so a combination of all these I regard myself as a middle class mm. you know person where I it was not durable sir, but yeah. Once, you, once you live in a shy man, mm -hmm. you feel it sometimes. Sometimes you can see that, you know, BBI okay, but she need fears. Ah. What is here? So I had the opportunity to, to grow from such a background where I think 
even my kids will not be privileged to enjoy that type of environment, you know. Mm. So a shaman really grew me up, taught me all the things that I, th I think I know, mm. you know, so far. That, that's um, on a larger scale. That is a shaman um, at home, the home setting that you grew up in. Yeah. What sort of things in there influenced who you are, how your personality is now? Uh, you mentioned earlier that, you know, you had dreams of yeah. uh, becoming an army officer. Definitely discipline setting from that part. Yeah. But what are some of the things that you picked up from your home setting? Things that still live with you till now? Yeah. Um, charity, they say, begins at home. And mm. the home setting is a primary place. is mm. a, a core foundation of everybody's mm. um, being. So I'm actually thankful again that I grew up with my mother and my father and my sisters and brother. So it was a tight family we all did everything as a family and the morals and the discipline for my father you know as well as the love for my mother you know grew me up like this you know and now from a very from a very spiritual home mm -hmm. you know where we practice our spirituality through christianity then time there you know i grew up on the bible a lot you know call core, core like deep yeah, deep rooted deep deep, deep. like mm. you could be playing football and when your father comes you say hey calls you in and it's a Bible. Unless it's Bible study, bro. Yeah, straight up. It's Bible study. Wow. If you have nothing to do, you better be reading some Bible and learning something. So I've been a fan of reading and learning, you know. Even that has stuck with me. Mm. When we, we, we all access the internet, but when I'm on the internet, I read different things. Yeah. I'm not actually seeing, you know, sometimes we're all on there, but I'm not <laughs> seeing what you are seeing. Exactly. I'm act actually finding out something. Yeah. So that's how I grew as a foundation. Mm. I was, mm. uh, you know, I give I, I can't say too much but I know people can relate to such families where you know you guys are coming from zero zero and you have to be the one to make a change mm -hmm. so every time you have you don't have to waste it mm -hmm. you know you have to spend it wisely so that, that's it you know I've known you for a while and you're somebody that is super inclined when it comes to intuition you know there's been days sure. where the stone will be like okay nah let's not do it this way this is how I feel about it. Mm. Um, I was told somewhere along the line that uh, you were a twin. Yes, Can we I play am. on that. You I are mean, a twin. Yeah, I am. And so, would you, would you, uh, you know, uh, support the notion that twins are super endowed with the power of intuition? Is that where the intuition yeah, sense comes I mean, from? Yeah, that's they're blessed. You know, mm. like every in our culture, we understand that twins is that twins are a blessing. Mm. So, you know, every, every individual is a blessing anyway. Children are blessings, babies are blessings. But when you get a double portion of that, then, mm. you know, it's a, it's a peculiar blessing mm. to that. So that's how I think that it is, mm. generally. So, so where's your other twin? Um, unfortunately, he passed, he passed when we were growing up. Mm. So, you know. Do, do you ever sit and ask yourself what, would, what things would look like if, if <laughs> he was still around? Yeah, we're identical anyway, very mm. identical. So... It's just it's just a double me. Probably so would have had the stone boy and and, and stone man. Basically, and it would have been Livingston and something else. I don't know. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's a story. May so rest in perfect peace, yes, though. Yes, um, yes, how, yes. How, how long has music been with you? Because you've given me a, a fair idea of how growing up was like, you know, you things you learned uh, from uh, in a shaman home and all that. But the music element, what part does it come in? Was <laughs> there anybody in the house that was doing music before you? Yeah, 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 yeah far far off you know eh? uh, um, my talent may be pe is pe peculiar and unique but i i'm definitely not the beginner mm. of this in my family because mm. uh we trace it back into my father tell me is my great grand my great grandmother mm -hmm. was one um like a, a custodian of mm. of music in the in the traditional settings so that is where they trace it to you know and hence it has it has it has it has flown in, 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 in us or I've had my cousins who are you know, a cousin of mine is into the media. Like from time, from time. It's been with kids, you guys, yeah. It's yeah. been with us from day. Bro, even my daughter can sing a yeah, freestyle yeah. right now. <laughs> so it's in there. It's just know. in there, flowing through the family. Anyways, uh, moving on to the next thing, um, another big phase in your life um, from the research I did was your time in uh, Methodist uh, Senior High School. Yeah. <laughs> um, was that the point? Can we fairly say that was a point? The entertainment <laughs> spirits literally no, no, just no. showed up. No, 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 no. Me, I've been singing from time. I've been see, look. I would. Uh, I've been singing from when I was a, a child. Mm. Child, you know, child in the church, 
because my father was sort of an elder, so there was responsibility on the elders, mm -hmm. on the elder of the church's kids. You know what I mean? So yeah, you have to do something. I'm reading there. the Bible. I'm teaching the Bible. I'm I'm singing music. I'm leading the choir. I'm, lead, I'm leading the children's choir. Yeah. I'm part of the youth choir when we grow up. So, you know what I mean? Like I've been doing music all my life, and at home. And at home, I'll be that guy who entertains everybody till he falls asleep. So that's what that has been with me from even when I was in primary school. Like mm -hmm. from when I, when I was in class five, I actually wrote a poem and a play for the whole school to act for speech, um, speech and speech yeah. and prize giving day. Mm. You find me doing all these things. Mm. I'll, I'll read. I'll do some speech. I'll act. Multi talented I'll, guy. Uh, you know, I'll do taekwondo. I'll, I'll run athletics. It's just that guy is everywhere. Mm. You did you all know, of that's that. That's a kind of First thing I and that, and that was I, the same spirit you carried through senior high school, exactly. right? Exactly. So same spirit, same spirit from mm. from. So I was being and music has been with me. I've been singing from mm. time. I've been composing music when I was from when I was in class five. Mm. You know. So I think there's a picture of mine online. Also. <laughs> <laughs> it's me and my squad. Like uh -huh. I had a group. In, you know, them one there. So I've been at this. So but the performing thing for the music style you have now clearly sort of like had its you know, strong grounds from mm. senior high school. Yes, but when I was going into senior high school, yes, for you sure. Like, I had to sit in class once upon a time in senior high school one and decide. Mm. I remember that, that day vividly. Like, it was after an examination or a quiet time, a quiet period mm -hmm, somehow. Mm -hmm. One teacher missed the period and I just had the opportunity to think so deep and I'm like, okay, so from here, where will they go? Mm. Where will they go? I'm like, all right. So I actually so searched, honestly speaking, mm. and I remember this to, 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 to today. I was wondering why that didn't happen probably at home or somewhere, yeah. but in class. In class, yeah. Bro, it was like I zoned out, and for that level, I can still remember it. Mm. I zoned out, and I was like, okay, you. Right I ended up this? saying I have to take this serious. Mm. Because I thought like, okay, so after school, what's up? Considering my current situation, that's why I'm somebody who actually, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm so much of a realist, bro. Mm. You don't fantasize too much. You mm. consider your current situation and apply, mm. and apply what you have to apply. Don't don't overthink. Mm. So consider my current situation of someone who's you know things were not going on well at all at the time, you know. And I'm like, okay, fine. At the end of um, 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 senior high school, I knew there was no one to pay my fees yeah. and push me up on the education ladder. So I had that thought like three years. I was in SS one, so I'm like, okay, so you're in school now, live eh? And I'm like, all right, cool, I might just take my music serious. So right from senior high school one, bro. And it's now when I came to school. And I was bubbling still because yeah. I was doing this from right primary school, yeah. JSS. So, so you, you know, have, you, have your, vibe, yeah. you have your vibes, you have your mm, squad, mm, you have mm, your classmates, mm, mm. you have people who knew you in the area. Mm. You know, that type of guy. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I, I got the opportunity as well. I think it was before then I got the opportunity to... Um, go to Adom FM that okay. first year okay. where they had the Kasahari yeah, yeah. going on yeah. every time. So yeah. that was it. A friend of mine would Bolaski, Bolaski, I remember his name, Bolaski, I've forgotten his government name. He would force me sir, and say, yo, but you the way you be tight like this I because we go beat decks, I go rap, I go raga, mm, I go mm, sing, mm. Tell you forgo that program. I'm like, yo, but you yourself, you know, see, and I was not really so me I just chose. So guess what he did? I think he managed to he first uh, we what happened we say long story short he, we were here mm. one Saturday we did Adum FM the line was like 50 boys 60 boys mm. and my condition I was had to work with an aid working yeah, aid yeah, so I had a walking that, stick yeah. I think I had my clutches mm -hmm. or something because mm -hmm. I sometimes mm -hmm. I went to school because mm -hmm. of my situation so I was like oh okay so the guy look ah uh, he see that one way they hold some clutch way that be Duncan he say you come. Mm. And when they call you, say, come, when you pass through that first door, second door into the studio, first door here, second and third door into the studio, bro, your adrenaline, they, they, they yeah. rise from the time you they walk you through the hallway you push the, yeah. till when you get to the second door, the, the first door be the s security. Yeah. And boys stay there like mm. 50, 25, there about. So if he call you like that, he comes and picks at random. Mm. Come, 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 and then you know, say, this is your opportunity to... For you to shine. Bro, if you fail, no, that'd be young, because boys plenty. So, man puts me through, puts me through. So, when I got on the thing, it's like, yo... Um, you, what be your name? 
So my name is Stone. Say no, say living stone. So yeah. everybody called me Stone. Yeah. I said my name is Stone. You the rapper, or you the raga, or you the singer. So me had if you do or anything, mm. you give me the away. Because that time we have some rap bars, we have everything set, you know. Because we knew that from primary. Yeah, so yeah, me, my qualifying, I'm in Namor. So the open one beat, bro. Okay, so when I said I did raga, he paid some rappers, and there was no one to raga. So there was one guy be coincidentally to the raga guy. Mm -hmm. If his name is not. Tobadonaja, then must be some other name. I remember, yeah, yeah, I remember, <laughs> pa, because the raga, the name for heavy. Yeah. You see, if you be raga, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they hear Bujubante, Kepetan, Sizzla, Kalonji. It be raga, reggae artists where they go feel her full name, mm. where one of their names self no be their real name. Mm. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go find out their real name. Their real name so different. heavy yeah. name, bro. And I was shot like that, the guy talk. So the power self he gave me a hot day inside mm. where they just put us on the thing, bro. That was it for me. Do you remember the lines? Do you remember the raga? Bro, mm -hmm. the lines, yeah. Then I get plenty bars, but uh, honestly, yeah, I know they remember. So I fired them, but then I'll be freestylist too. Wow. Yeah. So that was my key. So I defeat spell the guy head to toe as the <laughs> they thing they go on. So that was when I got my break. So it was mm. Duncan at the time. So when I said stone, he said, ah. Okay, so there's one stone, and when he turns on the mic like that and it goes on air, mm -hmm. bro, that time social media no get no to really, you. YouTube yeah. self no really, but yeah. so that was the whole mm. media. So once he opened the mic like that, way, he say, we have one stone boy in the house. That's how I became stone boy till now. Wow. He added the boy so because you of the stone. raga vibe. Me, I was stone. And, and we had stone, just stone, one stone, stone boy. Stone, stone, because stone. you did raga, he added the uh -huh. boy. So we say one stone boy, rude boy, styling, you know, Nadi, Nadi, mm. Dr. Mm. Dan, you know, <laughs> you know the vibes. Dr. Dan can understand. So, so that was where wow. my man went on with stone boy. Stone boy. And so you left, you left the place with a different person, not a different personality, yeah, an uplifted personality. Yes, that's why I consider my journey as, as divine, you know. Mm. <laughs> It's highly divine, and I'm thankful every time. That's why I bless His Imperial Majesty every time. King Damn. of Kings, Lord of Lords, you know, every minute He's with me, He's with us. He chooses our path, and you know, once you yourself, you jack up yourself, you know, if you understand yourself, and Ganj will tell you, me, I jack up myself. <laughs> no be today. No be today. <laughs> that way, when I hear for a year, I did, I did, <laughs> you did that my favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> it was so wow, but yeah. but then I mean, all these were happening. You were still getting Yo. signs that music was the thing for you. Yeah, you guys because were I realized that. that everything else was taken away from me mm. apart from music, bro. Trust me, like, guess what? Uh, after my accident, I was supposed to be at home for a while, but I said, No, I can't do that because I even wrote my BEC while I was in the hospital. I was supposed to write my BEC in the hospital, so my year group, which was 2003, year group from BEC, like, they I couldn't write it. I was heartbroken because now you're more uh, so i wrote with the 2004 year group. you wrote a year after but i didn't go to school the whole year mm. and i came up tops so uh, amongst the whole school not not to cut you or anything but then i mean i've heard bits and bit of you know what happened what brought about the accident and all that yeah um for the sake of my first time listeners yeah what happened it was there's god it was a regular motor accident or lo lorry accident for instance, God um, may I so rest in peace. Same one that happened to Ebony and then, you know, mm. it's road accident. Mm. It kills people every day. Mm. People are dying mm. of it every day. Mm. Except for the fact that if maybe God bless and you are a name, when it happens to you, it becomes like, oh. Yeah, it becomes news. But it's something that happens on the regular. And we should, I think that, you know, it's sad. So uh, I was going from Accra back to Ashaiman on a lovely Sunday. I remember the date well, 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 like that. I had a football match later because I played football. Yes. Also. Like, I was that kid who did everything. You played football like you were the entertainment he did inside. Everything, like a Samoa <laughs> <laughs> hey, Everything. So, so, that evening, I think, I remember why. Wow, my mommy cooked wache, wow. rice and beans. When me, I like wache and rice and beans. Wow. So, me, you know what? I post my own. I say, hey, this wache, it'll be last hour I go kill her. Mm. I never had the wache till today. Wow. <laughs> so, I. I packed the watch it down so the goal comes. I followed my dad. It was my dad and you know my sisters and everything. So we Sunday we so with the go church, but the church says today they will follow the old man so he say they go a crack comes. I no go, no go visit our uncle. So now our way back that was my last man. That was the last time I, I was well well like oh like you know mm -hmm. you know and on our way back the police car be also a policeman be also a police whatever oh. And uh, that's what came to hit mm -hmm. our, our mm -hmm. car. So my son was actually caused by the state. The state. You know. 
and the state had done nothing zero. about it. I mean, that's the reality, and I, uh, I mean, that's that's it. So, you know, <laughs> the pe how how was the recovery like for you psychologically? It was tough. It was tough. It this was, was this was, was a boy tough. that had a lot of you tough, know tough, talents. Tough. This is a thirteen year old boy who had on top of it won a visa lottery and was about say. to go to Yankee. I swear down on my mom's grave, bro. I mean this is we're having a, 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 yeah. a chat, you feel me? And that just happened along the way. So I had to be at a hospital. Look, I sat, I slept on my back for two months. So I got Bed, bed, bed. So mm. you know, like, wow. I was the, I was the smallest, and then the accident center ward in Kolebu. That's why once, one, one time, I went to do d donations and paid some, some hospital bills, like I always do with the foundation. Most of it on the low. You know, I faced a tough time in the hospital. Like there, you are, all you have is your mother, mm -hmm. who would come and sleep on the floor through the whole six months in Kolebu, where you came at the mercy of people who saw a very young, handsome boy amongst el elderly people and said, ah, hey, you to say, say ah, then, uh, yo, you know, because you can't see anything up our body, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's my knee is yeah. fucked. So you c they, they, they engage you and they hear one smart little chap. Mm -hmm. I remember the connection man who was fixing our visa lottery told me called my father and said hey we about if i see you as why nani signature ni at this age you know at 13 years you you, you signed an adult signature i swear down as so of the same class <laughs> <laughs> wow so you know so i will go through that phase and also i was going to write my bc so the whole thing for everything. a small boy everything they just crashed and my mom was doing the most she could to get me to write it mm -hmm. and this is a trader who you know chino kron can you hear me raise are they are they of course each other i don't come and crowd to come there into you allow me some kind of what's that you know and to see that you know and my sisters were supportive you feel me like that's the real story so psychologically it wasn't easy for me as mm -hmm. a young boy now coming out of that to also continue life as somebody who you know i'm um, when it comes to being ha active I, I was super active you were I, was, I was like mm, a dog mm, kid mm. like so i faced it now having to accept the, the, rea that, the mm. reality that bros you can't run you can't be active like you used you to you can't hurt <laughs> it and for a long time mm. bro stayed with you for a while and you're gonna be at uh, the ridicule of a lot of people mm -hmm. but those who know you know you they yeah. know yo shit i mean stuff happened mm. and then mm. that is why you're here right, right, right and the healing process and the recovery process and everything i had surgery with metal plates inside my knee everything pins and that i had to go with it for a very long time yo when i step i stepped on so i yo I, <laughs> It was not easy it. for me, like a small Ashaiman boy growing up, and I had to hustle through that as well. You feel me? Because you had to. So that's why I told my mom, look, I don't want to be at home. I still want to go to school mm -hmm. because there's a because Ocha mm -hmm. trending. So now you cannot imagine the hustle from having to. So guess what? The schools I chose, I chose um, where, 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 um, 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 Laboni's secondary school yeah. was one of my choices, and I got it. Because I don't want to go to far. I want to do the same within mm -hmm. Accra. So now I couldn't attend any of those schools on boarding because of my situation. Yeah. Nobody was going to care for, mm. you know. And then we had to now find schools. So I did uh, we, my Padibi way in Finnish before because my year mate, mm -hmm. because I came out the next year because mm -hmm. of, you know, mm -hmm. he connected me so he in school self made us there. Uh, nothing to go. I said, all right, I'll come check the headmaster. So my big sister and I went through there. When we got there, the people where them choose the school where they take them all bare green no more and bare 40, 50. Just say, oh my, it's the headmaster. No, maybe they're not two or nine. No, no, see what now. Woof me, a more admitting me. And I'm making a chance over to another thing. Nah, I am me out. It's me and I'm copying the admission. It's not like say, and this is what age 15? Yeah, this is 14. 14. And I'm trying to say, officer, so you say, you know, I have another problem. I can't wear shorts because my knee mm -hmm. is enemy. You trying to know, see, hey, 
And once you're okay, fine, you can go on and wear trousers. So the whole of Methodist Day Secondary School has all wear Because be like the beginning, junior could wear shorts <laughs> yeah, and then you yeah, reach the top. Yeah, huh? but you know, that one said, you know, they made us like mm. that. So me, I wore trousers. So I think for the whole three years, some people think say that they learn mechanic. They think, they don't know, like say, no, so my area people think, say, and they learn some something. This. Because this one, I don't be school be that. Be be. Because bad. the uniform be like, maybe has some blue and some yeah, light yeah, green. Yeah, yeah, I say, yeah. yeah, I say you they learn some. You, some, you they learn some symptoms. Some apprentices <laughs> on one side. <laughs> wow. So after I finish SSF, some people don't see. Uh, but you see, I think I doubled up a character where when you saw me, I had people walk to me and all the time from 2014 when I had the opportunity on radio, I was a different person and I, I think I managed it that way. Mm. I was not stone boy t to the public. They were looking for stone boy. Because they, they see me and they didn't know what, I would deny everything I was stone boy. So st on radio, they knew one stone boy was a freaking ragged mm. gem. Mm. But outside, they're looking for stone boy. And I'll come and join the conversations of who stone boy is and nah, I'll walk man. off nicely. And that's how I kept me through the whole. But the third year, no, mm -hmm. the teacher be catch me where he said, hey, you. Because <laughs> I wanted to actually keep my whole year mm -hmm. on the same mm -hmm. block because mm -hmm. of my situation, yeah. you know, like, you know, the fee. And the guy go bring my secrets. Say, hey, this guy, you put it on him. Mm -hmm. no. He be in the storm, you know. Wow. He say, I lose God where I perform for one carnival. <laughs> that way, my hour open. So they say you go go. You see the third floor. Mm -hmm. You climb up like that now. So imagine Charlie stiff me and they hustle mm -hmm. to climb these things. So I did that for a whole third year. And I think it's sad to say my core friend, two of them, one is dead, may so rest in peace. He used to help me a lot. Like, you know, irrespective, I was able to manage my ways out. And here we are today, you know. Bro, this this is definitely a tough <laughs> journey. I mean, for a young guy, somebody your age, you know, having to go through this, not to say family neglected you whatsoever, no, no, but then no, you no. took charge of you. your life. Mm -hmm. um, along this time, I mean, music had still been a thing for you. Uh, what I want to find out is, during that period, you, what kind of inspiration for songs do you have? What kind of songs? Do you remember? Because I'm just sitting man, here trying man, to man, zone man, into... Sir. Mr. Men Casa Rasta Kwa Rasta was there, said that Brabana one farm Jaja will be a new Obejo, farm Jaja. Now, yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and also from a Christian background, too, yeah. so you got more, you know, let me keep the idea, I asked them to crack a key, but I was saying, Yeni Pan Casa say, be a bit too, and I would do not train me more, say, I say, a cool year. Now, Ray, you and my mommy, Ray. Uh -huh. So I was listening to a lot of reggae music, mm -hmm. pop music, you know, where you go uplift your soul and a lot, lot, lot more. So I think that's what built my consciousness. But I'm trying, okay, so that was that period, listening to conscious reggae music and that. But I want to find the zone where things switch, because you grew up in a highly Christian home. Mm. I mean, you were actively involved <laughs> in the, yeah, you were yeah, actively yeah, involved in the... Sure. Christian service at a church, yeah, you yeah, know, singing yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But then, why didn't it, you know, continue? Into, yeah, continue. why didn't you carry on with that? Wow. Where did reggae and wow, that rooted deep. stuff come in? That's deep. Um, bro, that's deep. I think I'll just summarize it somehow. Um, you see, along the way, when the anchor of the home actually loses grip, if you realize that now there's a need for survival, mm. you know, so, so everybody would have to build on what little foundation they have mm -hmm. to add on. So just to, you know, just to wrap it up in a, you know, an uncle of a home mm -hmm. is, a, is, a, is a man, is yeah. a father. So he was a bit, you know, he was also going through a certain phase yeah. at that time. So that was what it was. And I realized that, listen, I was getting, I was learning as well. So I was getting, I was learning life. So I was yeah. getting wiser and wiser. So I was sort of like, um, I just wanted to explore outside of the whole, Christian box, mm. you know, and to feel a bit more free, free, you know, free and all of that. So I think that was what informed my step out, plus the hustle itself, because there was honestly nothing for me in the church no more. Most of the um, friends that I was going to the church with and all, they would see me and my, I've left my hair, you know, like, you know, you switch. I get it. So then when they see you, so I even had one of the Right, ma'am, um, the teachers, the Sunday school teachers, when she, she sees me, when I see her, I'm a for dodge. Because when uh, she see me, she go cry. Uh, yeah. I say, oh, now why you say, you know, what say you? Wow. What bra, what say? 
ni ade ade e oh e na ono so no ni ba no so kra ye amoba ni ba no me ni na mi bo ni di me so rest in peace it is a yin na e be teach him dudu ona ko je ni ade ade e oh me a mi beli beli bi ni ade e you know as time went so be ni long sentences ni ade ndi no later later ye bi free money ade e but that be the way we you know so Honestly, then me I'll be stubborn. Wow, <laughs> no be joke. Trust me, I'm, I'm just seeing a totally different stone boy now. I swear, you know. I mean, it's a deeper connection. Yes, for the question you answer, where you they ask. Me. <laughs> so, and me say, I they try make and not make them too, too because, deep, because right? the rest could they my book inside. Uh, you have a book coming up, yeah. Okay, so with the manager, may they get ginger. So, you know, be easy for me at all. So, we we'll hit the street proper. So when the madam see me like that, uh, then she they cry because mm. the switch had happened. Yeah. But I was the only one who was seen beyond mm. that switch. But I knew they would understand mm. one day. And the only person who I explained anything to at any point that was my mother. All I needed was for her to be aware of the mm. situation. What, this is what's going to happen. Anybody now. else, mm. I'm sorry, I don't have to explain anything to. So when she is cool, I'm cool. Mm. This was the reaction you got from people at church, um, Sunday school people mm. and that. But what was the reaction you got from home? Your sisters, your your mom, you, oh, you mentioned that you had to explain to them. Them, they know where I go out. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, because, you know, say, at home, we all even know each other's potential. Yeah. So, me, they knew that the music was there, and if now I'm hustling the music, mm. All they can do is give me full support. I remember any time I went on Adobe FM, because it's voting and stuff, my sisters would pick um, a charcoal and be marking, marking the to so so they, don't do home, they tell me, yeah, 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 you, this won. Is, you actually won. And this was like they were keeping, uh -huh. you know. And one thing I have to say is that they've never stopped praying for me, you know, from mm. time, you know. Like they've always prayed for me, always been praying for me till today right to this mo bro so you can't judge a book by the cover mm. you feel me because and i'm really grateful really that, grateful you know, for so that. my sisters were of support my brother was a small boy at the time anyway. yeah so we they they, they really the support mm. you know now so through that phase um what what kept you and nonetheless some other area people as well you know it's been a while yeah, like yeah, i can't yeah. remember everybody but yeah. there were some other area brothers that were like my my big my mm. big brothers mm -hmm. who always pick you up. my back mm. yeah yeah mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. very 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 you know who, who, what were the figures um back then in your life that inspired you to do more and so uh, growing up personally I mean, there was an uncle of mine that was in radio. Mm -hmm. he, he was Doctor Who. Back then, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm close from school. Three o'clock, he's doing the drive time. And yeah. the mad dog BC, I hear my uncle in voice on radio. Wow. You know? Um, and there was this man that used to ride mm -hmm. motorbikes in the army mm -hmm. school I went to. He was one of those yeah. keche keche people. So yeah. I love those two figures. Yes. I definitely wanted to be like them. Did you have any figures like that? People you wanted to be like? Yeah, not necessarily be like, but they did stuff that we always want mm. me to be around them because that's how I. So I remember, um, 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 well, and they have to remember his name. Um, I remember it. No My problem. cousin definitely, mm -hmm. Adam Fui, uh, our uncle passed away. Yeah. He's going to be buried next week. So rest in peace. He, they came back from Nigeria and Kazo, he came with a computer and was playing Mr. Raga Raga. Hey. So ah, every time the guy they beat Shaggy, they beat so that that one self be the foundation mm -hmm. of my raga. Mm. That was because I was you know that time in the small yeah. I was I must have been around ten mm. at the time. So he when they came from Nigeria to relocate ah, computer is crying and my dad also got us a computer anyway. So um, he would play all the select like he's like yeah. yo he 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 played beats and all of that like he yo. He also loved the something, so then I was caught very close to him. So every time when I'm not home and I'm not hustling around, I'm always close to that's from the family side. And then another, another, another fool, and I have to remember him now. Yo, him, he is actually somebody who took me in as a friend mm -hmm. from Snooky. His name is Aaron Snooky. Okay. Snooky is a, he did a song with uh, Conti Hene. He's been in the scene. For a while, for a while. yes, mm. yes, yes, and I think there was a part of him that never really got to shine, shine, yeah. Which, which is 
because every time I heard him, I heard him sing so beautifully, like mm. Jackie also. Even in the area, they were the brothers on the on the on the they, scene. They had the turf. They yeah. had the turf, and yeah. I was like looking up to wow mm. him. Um, oh, him and the, 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 they, they had a clan called the LA clan. Okay. I think I'm saying this for the first time on radio. So he was part of the clan, and there were some brothers. I took I took notes. Big up yourself today, okay. today, today. We still vibe and link, you know. And I took notes who come in from time to time. You know, that's like in that, mm -hmm. that, that Shyman journey yeah. proper. So these were the people you go to school, you come, you the hustle mm -hmm. them were the ones who you... They shipped things. And the whole Ashima knew them as some type of different squad. Mm -hmm. Because if you go see, if them go braid braid in my hair and the things and wear some slipper and socks, they, they show you Yankee. Yeah. You understand? So I got drawn to those people. And Snooky, per se, he was the one that I got always... I remember going to space to space to go and call him, say, bro, what's up? You know? And I wanted to always hang with him. D did you ever come across a moment where... Things got so tough. I mean, your hustling days, things got so tough. You felt like this music thing, crap. Uh, you know, because you mentioned that a mm. few friends fell off along the line. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you sure. never get to a point where you felt like you had to choose something deeper between the necessary and evil? That's why my album was called Necessary Evil, you know. But that on the side, bro, there was nothing else for me but music. It was clear, it was obvious. So I never, for once, ever f felt like, yo, this music shit won't work. Because there was a passion anyway. Mm. It gave me an avenue to let out. Mm. So the core of me even recording was to hear myself and play at home. Mm. And it was like a getaway for me from everything. And I did it with all my all. So until when the realization came at the point where I said I was in class one time mm, and I yeah. realized that, okay, that was an SS one. So way before that, mm. three years down the line was JSS, mm -hmm. way before primary. I was doing JSS. We, we were recording songs already mm -hmm. because we got computer, we got that computer mic, we mm -hmm. got sample some Sean Paul B from one side and put them for the recorder inside. So I had one track. I'm busted tuned at that. Yeah, I busted tuned at that. Yeah, and my cousin as well. We we call the studio bedside studios. Mm -hmm. My auntie never liked us to sing anyway. So when they come, then we we'll log off their thing and we say we they learn computer, mm -hmm. you know, something nice, mm -hmm. you know. But, <laughs> but we they we be music, up. we they do, we they boss up. You understand? So there was that the passion was there. There was no minute where I even felt like the music there no go work because mm -hmm. everything else was gone but for mm -hmm. the music. So okay. I had to make it. You work. had to make it work. And so it moves me to my next question. At what point did it work for you? You mentioned your Adom FM days. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned your friends jacking you up to do it. Mm -hmm. At what point? I mean, I don't want us to go too deep into the music hustling side because mm -hmm. that side has mm -hmm. its own sides. Yes, please. But at what point did you realize, okay, I shall say a What point? Um, okay. As in, I shall see if I on a, on a, on a, on a career. No. Yes, I shall see if I like things are. You see, you mentioned earlier that things will make sense. It will make sense to people. It will make sense to yourself. Mm. You believed in something you had not seen. Mm -hmm. Yet you were still following through the process. Yeah. At what point did you come into terms of the fact that, no, I don't know, uh, uh, like okay, you mihune, started seeing signs. Okay, Mihuni say, uh, okay, Ebefa to the say afa for career level, no? Mm. Uh, yeah, after me call I do my film no and then I'm a Jimmy two more us aside no so mm. uh, Papa Bills came back and said, mm. Yo, yeah, every weekend, bro, I would have friend in bro. Mm. So Papa Bills was my it was like the pro he produced the show, mm. if I'm not if mm. I'm not lying. So I had the producer who liked me. So in the end he always fix me in and give me an opportunity mm. to 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 do what I did. So during that period, I was in SS1, SS1 student. So I was just doing it because okay, I had for you do. Yeah. Into yen yen year was outside now. Into yen year sa and sometimes when we finish the way with the goa, mm -hmm. then Dr. Duncan will <coughs> give us some cool mm -hmm. some fifty CD, fifty mm -hmm. CD. At that time, the fifty CD note is big. Five hundred thousand. So when I take that fifty CD go yada, that be my whole week school mm -hmm. be that. Yeah, understand. So imagine me, I start a fan on. Yeah, maybe be a quiet anyhow. In the school, na eh, kono kwa na ite yeko bo. Raga, 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 raga. Na say eh, programmer. Na boss hamai bibi kakra na. Eno na edi sube, you know, school level. So I found no. 
afana no nti se me be school awo na me ye jenga o ma black rasta mo ne ade black rasta so far me say ba you know after we met and i think the radio side gave me a lot of exposure mm -hmm. because i know na request social media at that time no nti wo mo nim 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 but na me impose to say me on the public that for yeah. for real for real na me impose me ye me juma na ba so that's how serious i've taken it till now mm -hmm. so you, you go realize say I am still not the type that I say be performs no. Mm -hmm. You like the word. I say oh performs now for now we say now kasa bisa bisa just because of entertainment to me and cause our side you know. Hey, entertainment me me remaining will work you know because hey baby now do you? That's yeah. what you have to do. This yeah. is what you have yeah. now. Until we are you leave it there. We go face so we go face face there. This is the box of moves and now I start it far. Once I didn't say me be square, now make it a extra t-shirt, extra e. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you no, know, I don't hear intense you no. Know, me be school now me do guitar. Say almost I'm a me leniency mm -hmm. because a special yeah. student. Into me use leniency you no. Know, Eddie try other hustle you no. Know. Into me use electric mask ne yah edin kaka na me say no guy we dey no person. That my family bag, me bag no say a rasta bag. Once a school no, I'm on my uniform. Yeah, yeah, my uniform. Uniform no, I'm on my you know. Eh, you can't say eh, baby, baby uniform. I'm on my ceremonial uniform no. The top of Mali flag one. And I'm with trash ceremonial. No say two. Yeah. Into me walk back home. And I back home. I'm with the trash side bag. Into no. Me with trash side bag. And I'm at church row inscriptions. I chant to chant. Chant to this song. I forget. In the bag, I see me sign as me bar. Na walk in so unique. In the six school, no man me bar. Me me find the thirties level. Find the thirties level. Slow, steady. But I don't feel. S S no. Slow, but me na me control gang ni na. Yeah, yeah, gidi gidi o. But me na me point is a gada koha. Who you say? Because me what time I me did drink. Now my friend is saying, I mean, it's real. This yeah. was something I told myself that, bro, if, bro, if you can run, mm -hmm. you have to crawl. If you can't crawl, yeah. you know, but I knew there was a deficiency. Mm. People couldn't think enough. Mm. So me, I was a headquarters. Mm. Headquarters. Bro, you had time to think. I was a headquarters. So then be the action on the turf, bro. Not even a, a mosquito could sting me. <laughs> because the army big, it big, it mad. <laughs> yeah, from streets yeah. everywhere. So to continue your best school, and now you train. Me to me first school, no more say me firm. School and bar me to me firm. Me do gate now. I'm a nantia, copim one, and I'm a free p. Wow. And you are firm, no no. Me free p. I bar. I'm in my studio. Be now my chains. I'm a shirt trouser. Mm -hmm. But I don't say I'm not me wo loafers be. But loafers no. I know any guy. Me to me born all star. Bro, so how how did uh, the exposure you gained from the release of your first single, Climax? Um, I remember featuring. Who tell you say that was my first single? The one I know. Uh -huh. yes. I mean, the one saying, I know. I'm yes. And and I'm particular about that particular one because that's when I started, you know, yeah. zooming around. I grew up in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. Yes, me in the Kumasi side now, Michelle. I be a lot better if you Kumasi in the background. Wow. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> And so I mean, uh, around that, I mean, exposure you gain from that, hmm. um, climax uh, featuring, yeah. uh, you know, uh, Samini, and of course, get to love featuring Irene Logan help propel your debut album, Grade One album. Mm. How, how did things change for you after those ones? Because honestly, I don't know, I see a the radio, so yes. you know, ain't yeah, the kind of airplay, yes. and, and, and I brought this one up because one yeah. of my bosses uh, quickly just reminded me, and see, I had yeah. to just put that question in. Her name yeah. is Nosisa Do, yeah. and Ose, 
Uh, do say hi to Stoneboy for me and tell him it's Nusisa, the head of ETV Ghana from Zimbabwe. Yes, the woman with the dreadlocks. Yes, yes, Until yes, we first friend, met in 2013 when the late Nice Celebrity Show yes. got heated with. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And I watched yes, that yes, interview. Yes, yes, you remember yes, I told you? Yes, yes, yes. That was yes, the first yes. TV interview I'd seen of you. I'm yes. like, who's this guy? Yes, yes. I, mean, I remember. And then I started hearing the buzz and that. How did things change for you? How, in your definition, how did those two, mm. you know, joints and the kind of exposure it gave you propel you to who you became after that? All right. Um, truth as it be, that uh, Irene Logan song, big respect to um, Tony and Samini, mm. being the owner of Samini Music, mm -hmm. you know, and at that, at that point, Tony, you know, made sure that you know that um that song was done i remember that i spent a, lo a lot some a majority of the time too with him so you know he would make a few calls and i know that he placed that irene logan feature and then uh, the climax feature was by virtue of me being you know um say a member of the high grade family yeah. at the time so you know something had to be done and i was about to release my album so big man put up you know his voice on that but i remember jmj and i would always be in the studio plotting the mastermind mm -hmm. you know of most mm -hmm. of these songs because i mean as a studio rat you're always there to give some ideas and i think i've been good at um adding on you know everywhere i go bro i add up a lot too yeah. We, 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 Jay will tell you, me and Jay still vibe. He knows my input when it comes to the technical ear and mm -hmm. let's do it this way, let's sample it this way, let's so that was how come, I think we even, because he produced both songs, mm -hmm. so that was how he also comes and stone. this is what I think I have for you, so we created those two masterpieces by the blessings of um, 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 Samini at the, at the time. Yeah. He shone some light on that yeah. for us and then you know it took it took it took off and i think that it was nice because everybody was like oh that's your small boy the force who and that adds a lot of glory to mm. you know somebody who who's already in the scene yeah. so that was the levels was at the, the time and scene. after the album you know full speed you know i had to keep running keep running and during that uh, album uh, that grade one album too i mean i had to make sure you did a lot for yourself as well mm -hmm. but you know it's, it's by virtue of, um, 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 of, 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 of hard work and certain levels of exposure giving or added to. So I'm forever grateful for that level because I understand things differently on that path. Yeah, yeah. But I also nonetheless have to do majority of the work also. Mm -hmm. so that it goes well because in the end it's my career you know it's yeah. me yeah. so you, you, you cannot expect decisions. that you cannot expect that <coughs> you'll be spoon fed with things you know yeah you pretty much just took charge of your own career from time you you didn't want to go through the usual you're there you have access from time Push, go here, go here. You you no, knew no, no, where no, you were going. No, there was no access, bro. Mm, mm. There was no access like that, bro. You had to you had to leave on off of, you know, what they bring onto your table, mm. but you have to make the most out of it. Mm. You know. And the luck is that I've been grinding before and that was a huge experience for me as mm. well. Mm. And so moving on has been difficult, yeah. but it wasn't out of way for me as a as a as a as a sufferer. Yeah. You know. It makes, it, make, it makes perfect sense. W one other thing I wanted to talk about is the Necessary Evil album, right? Um, it was released in 2014. Yeah. I remember it received, I think, three awards, three Ghana Music Awards uh, from six nominations. I have six nominations, but three came out. Um, what do you put the success? Because honestly, if you ask me, that album was super successful. Mm. Uh, we'll get into the real details, mm. you know, to it. But it was super successful. But what, what in your opinion... Um, should we attribute the success of that album to beyond your hard work? Yeah, we just give it to God because I am on things, you know. Things mm. don't run God, you know. I am so, irrespective of human efforts, we still have to understand that, you know, it's God because our hearts beat and He gives us the mental capacity, the strength, the energy to mm. do this thing. Mm. So, aside attributing it to our individual hard works, I think that. I'll just go straight to the to the, to the side. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And big respect to everybody involved in great um, necessary evil album. Um, um, Dake, you know, me and him actually back and forth in the studio. Yo, 
that was that was me still fine tuning my team mm. and still pushing and the thing is i've had a lot of experience on the road from time mm -hmm. so many of the things i did for myself by myself you know but it was fronted so a lot of people didn't know you know by school it's not my one man can't run the whole thing what matters is the army in the mind you know I mean, you just mentioned something I was going to keep for later, but I mean, since you've touched on it, let's go back to it. What, what, makes, what makes a great team for an artist? I mean, for the sake of people coming up? <coughs> yeah, you have uh, to have a direction, I believe so, as an artist. Okay. You have to have a direction, and because it actually starts with you and ends with you and depends on you most often, you know, not to say that, guess what, even if it depends on you 90, mm -hmm. and there's two, one, four, five coming in to make it 100, yeah. you know, it's equally vital those other minor points mm. because if they weren't vital you could have had it all as well true and as much as you having all 90 in case even if you know mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you have to look down and disrespect the other points that come yeah. in so to form a great team is just a combination of you knowing your direction mm -hmm. and having people who equally share in that in that light mm -hmm. you know you would hardly find people who are there for the growth of it all but for themselves yeah so you realize even sometimes it it it, 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 it shifts you know the paradigm shifts when sometimes it starts on a very honest and loyal yeah, grounds, grounds and, and then inside somewhere it switches but it's still camouflaged with that loyalty you know and it becomes naturally the need of the leader but that is what we face in this place that's why i'm mentioning it that's how come you realize that um it's not easy to form a great team around you you know there are definitely going to be ups and downs yeah. left and right because we're humans mm. we're dealing with a lot of mm. things but on the musical test you have to understand the direction you have to read you you as well you have if you're lucky enough to have like a label that will dictate for you and mm -hmm. put you and weave you fine but i was not fortunate enough to come out from that school where you were three sisters where you were made by yeah. a label mm. you know what mm. i mean mm. who knows what they made mm. the name they gave they how had the they blueprints uh, for that uh, and so you basically just do your part yeah. it, it follows a process follows and things process. you just had to do that yes. taco taco in there and i think most of us have done it taco taco from mm. from time mm. i believe starting from our time there was no executive producers the record labels were not really there you know so we have had to do it by ourselves so we we studied the system and said okay we need this we need that so most of it we as our boys who we use say okay do this one we taught them on we, we, we have to we me that's my story yeah i had to teach them on the job i had to say yo do this do yeah. that 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 so you need to know what you're about mm. form your team mm. you know know the, the 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 individual roles and descriptions you know and once you gather yourself around god chosen people who are also sharing the same dream you know because it's not just for you we are doing a, a humanitarian service over here as even musicians so they have to share in the dream and the p passion and yeah. be able to give their mm. quota as well mm. to you know um uh, that's well said i mean i've picked a lot from that you've really broken down a few things um, guys, we're going to put the infographics on our pages on Instagram, Facebook, and then Twitter, Y1079FM. Uh, but in the meantime, if you do have a question for Stoneboy, who's still here with us, Y Little Boy Series ongoing, he shared the first part of his life with us. Now we're getting closer to now, and then we'll definitely find out a few things about his ideologies in the music business, and then, you know, his personal life as well. But Charles going out to the Massive on Facebook, Charlie, we're getting mad love on there. Um, I wish I could mention all the names, but I'm seeing Eddie Rich, Boss, uh, Tony Montana, uh, Dom Chica, I see you, Fred Dan. So what I need you guys to do for me is to share the video, share the stream on Facebook now so that your friends and family members who are not aware this is going on can also <laughs> catch up on it, all right? Uh, I'm so just checking out somebody says, I mean, why if I'm yeah. saying, um, 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 I always dreamt of becoming a military officer way back as a kid in school. Then somebody, Merari Rush says, we dream, but why I can laugh at that? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's actually the truth, though. 